J.D. and the Salt Flat Kid live in Salt Flat, Texas. Fired when the ranch owner catches them singing and dancing instead of working, they set out on a 2,000-mile trip to Nashville. Oh, it ain't but that far on the map. Sure is dusty, isn't it, kid? You can't see a thing. Well, that's the first, ladies and gentlemen, a pickup truck in a demolition derby. Oh, Lord, it's J.D. Well, well, the right side. Well, it's the right side. Falsely accused of kidnapping Sandy and Linda, the law is soon after them in one of the funniest chases ever filmed. Former singer and now auto mechanic. Hey, you two fellas up there. You want me to call off my dog? You've been up there about five hours. I figured that ought to be enough. Unless you were a couple of them real tough characters. No, ma'am, we ain't. We come 2,000 miles to get on the Grand Old Opera and we can't even get an audition. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. I'll figure out something. Come on. How they get to finally star on the Grand Ole Opry is one of the funniest parts of Smokey and the Good Time Outlaws.
I'm Tennessee Thompson, son of Dixie. He ain't causing nobody no harm. in the fire supper. occasionally by the sheriff to track down prisoners who escape from the Buckstone County Prison. <laughs> All right. You can have some too. But I'm first. Now I'm gonna count to three, boy. 
And I want you to be gone. One, two. <coughs> You're all right, girl. This is the deputy sheriff. His name is Jess. Jess hates Sibo. Jess goads Sibo into a fight and has him jailed. Now I want to ask you some questions about them prisoners you murdered. Sibo. Jess, Sibo ain't done nothing. Now you get your tail off my property. Now, Effie, you shut up. This is official business. I'm taking Sibo in. I just soon take you with him. Why don't you just do Well, that? I just might. <laughs> You got better for me. You do it with me. Sibo! Sibo is brutalized and beaten into submission by the guards and the warden. This is the warden. He needs to be rehabilitated. And I don't know nobody who can rehabilitate better than you two can. <coughs> I could escape these and bring them back alive, and you're a free man. It's as simple as that. Follow the story of Sibo, a legend amongst the mountain dwellers of Buckstone County. Earl Owensby, David Allen Coe, and Don Red Barry in Buckstone County Prison.